I climb because I love to. I climb because I have to. I climb because I want to. This fabric, it's who I am. As soon as I step off the ground and I'm in gravity and I'm playing this game, I have to live very purposefully, very mindfully, very exact. Last year, I set off for an expedition to Nepal to try a peak Lunagri with an Austrian Sherpa climber friend of mine, David Lama. It was very ambitious, 26 days door to door to get to the top of a 6,900 meter peak in the Himalayas that hadn't been climbed. On the 16th of November, I had a heart attack. How do you know when you're having a heart attack? It's not like an alarm on your phone. It's like you're fucking having a heart attack and you're having it now. I had to self-rescue off the mountain, get through the ice fall. It's like this elephant standing on your chest and then going up and inside and just this incredible pressure. Compound that with being at altitude, so I wasn't getting good circulation. Well, I always wondered when I was gonna get the message that it's time to let go of this <laughs> game, and I think I got it. My lips are tingly. My left arm is not functioning in the same way. I did not take any uh, painkillers. I didn't want to mask the pain. I needed to listen to it. Because it was as subtle as sitting like this for four breaths and then having to move again to another spot and just taking the pressure off there, knowing exactly where that pain was. nine hours from onset to when I had an angioplasty. This happens all at age 53. Pretty humbling. <laughs>